Shalom, all praise it to Yahweh, Bar Shem, El Shai, Bar Shem, Al Rakab, Dash, double honors unto the apostles and elders, the great Milson, who rule well, and Shalom to the hopeful elect, teaching his truth and sincerity. Um, this is Pai Allah from the GMS London camp, and this is News and Prophecy, Prophecy and News. I have an article from Sky, all right, Sky News, and it's dealing with a terrorist attack that broke out this evening okay and this is just in tune with the season that we're in all right the time of the end is prophesied to be like a time like never before on earth so when this covid came in march march being um the name the the name of the month march is comes from um rome basically the romans dealing with the god of war Aries and whatnot, and um, basically, in that being said, that was the onset of um, the change of the face of this world, basically. All right, so in that being said, you know, a change in the world it started with COVID 19, but it's not going to end with COVID 19. That's part, that's one of the pieces to, to the big picture, basically, the bigger picture, should I say. So, don't getting misconstrued and think that it's only going to be COVID-19. No, COVID-19. Over here in the UK, you got Brexit bubbling. Over in the States, stateside, you got the election brewing right now. And you got a civil war brewing because you got militias arming themselves, down to even Jake's arming themselves, scared that a civil war may break out. Then you have um, uh, social unrest due to um, authority figures abusing their power you have a lot of people homeless and out of pocket with no money and more tribulation is going to happen and that's why this entering the terror terrorist attacks okay because this is something that was prevalent prior to the pandemic and they had the, a, a a joke of an article that basically said that um one of the terrorist units i can't remember, i'm trying to remember which one it is um ISIS or one of them, they basically said like, oh, they're so scared of coronavirus that they wouldn't go to um, Europe right now. It's too, it's too crazy. And even that, that sounds like something that's, <laughs> they, they, they're they meant to be hard and terrorists. Why would they be saying something like that? But that's neither here nor there. Oh, it is here or there. It's more to the point of they didn't want to use them at that time and now it's the time for them to be used basically. So, you have this guy in Austria, you had a terrorist attack in Canada as well, I believe in Quebec, where two people were stabbed, and he also had a few terrorist attacks happen recently in France as well. So if you if you if you're paying it if you're being have if you have an attentive eye, you can see that they're trying to normalize these terrorist attacks, okay, and it could be actual natural terrorist attacks from the build-up of things that's going on in the world, or it could be Manchurian candidates that is in the fourth. Or don't be surprised if it's a mix of both, all right? So um, I'm going to read this article. So the title reads, um, Vienna terror attack, at least two dead and 15 injured in shootings across Austrian capital. So it says, um, gunshots heard in terror attack. Um, I'm not going to play that video, but you can check this article out. I'll copy the link i should be able to copy the link yeah i'll copy the link and leave it in the video so it says at least two people are dead and a police officer is among several who were injured after a suspected terrorist attack carried out by multiple suspects across six locations in vienna so this is the most recent terrorist attack that has some form of complexity to it all the other ones have been kind of you know one over there and one over here, but this one's the most complex one yet. So they're saying police in Austria, Aust- in the Austrian capital said the attack was carried out by several suspects armed with rifles that one has been shot dead by officers. And there's a video going around on social media showing a guy freezing up basically and he, he gets, you know, killed. I don't know what he got shot by, but, you know, if you do your Googles, you'll basically come across 
these videos that are circling on social media. So it says, government open fire on people enjoying the last evening out before coronavirus lockdown Monday. Authorities said they added that the attack has left two people dead, including a suspect killed by police and 15 wounded. wounded. Austria's uh, public broad- broadcaster, Off TV, earlier reported that several people were killed. So, you know, showing there's armed police out on the streets, basically. This is Austria's interior minister, Karl Niehammer, said earlier that several suspects were still on the loose in Vienna. So they're still on the loose, all right? Uh, Mr. Niehammer said that the suspects are heavily armed and dangerous and told the public broadcaster off, we have brought several special forces units. Yeah, and that's we. Those are the special forces units you see in the images. We have brought several special forces units together that are now searching for a presumed terrorist. I am therefore not limiting it to an area of Vienna because these are mobile perpetrators. So basically they're saying they're getting around. Uh, Mr. Niyama also said that shootings appear to have been a terror attack and the army are being asked to guard key locations in the city to allow police officers to pursue the attackers. Right, a video shared widely on social media appears to show the suspect surrendering to police outside a shop in Vienna. A shop in Vienna. So, um, yeah, you can read the rest of the article. I'm going to attach the link. Um, but as you can see, <laughs> the dynamic of things is changing because before they were talking about the the virus, the vaccine coming out soon, but now it's changed into the dynamic of multiple terrorist attacks happening on all over the earth. And this is this is just this is where it is, man. Okay. This is the time we're in. All right. Uh let me quickly read this. So this is Daniel's Um, bear with me one moment Um, see how falls (laughs) excuse me a bit um tired at the moment but this is daniel's 12 and 1 i'm gonna read 1 and 2 so it says and at that and at that time shall michael stand up the great prince that standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a, a time of trouble all right so there's going to be a time of trouble and that's the time of trouble we're in only that time of trouble also talks about jacob's trouble where um the enemy's going to come in as a flood but the lord you know he's going to lift up a standard against them all right, in that time of trouble, because only this Jacob's trouble is going to affect the whole world. This ain't a thing. The key target, obviously, is um, Israel, basically, the so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But only, you know, feed, dealing with um, the agenda of the elites, what they really want to do is they want to get everyone, okay? I mean, when I say they want to get everyone, they basically have an agenda whereby. They want to reduce the population and in doing so, everyone's free game. Aside from the people that they allot for salvation, all right? Key people to to have a place within their kingdom, okay? So it says, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And that's the time we're entering into. This This is just the... This is the preliminary preliminary um, stages of this whole time of trouble, okay? This is basically the chess pieces are being moved on the board into position to strike, okay? And then it's going to really boil over and really manifest into sank. So reading on it says, um, 
such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And that's why we pray and hope and we work to make our calling and election sure that we be written in that book. Because hey, if you ain't in that book, basically you're open game, all right? Open season for you. And in the book of Jeremiah 15 and 16, it talks about the various ways of death, all right, that's open for the people. And then even on top on top of that, it tells you that there's going to be spirits of vengeance created to basically get busy, right? So, you know, if you're, if you, you know, if you hear this word that it resonates with your spirit, regardless if you're a so-called Negro, Hispanic or Native American, uh, you could look anyhow. But as long as if this resonates with your spirit, more than likely you're an Israelite, all right? And if it don't, then... Hey, good luck, man. <laughs> That's all I could say. Verse 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall wake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Right? So with that, I pray you're edified. I'll say shalom.